Hello everyone, this is Marcy from Love and Hope uh, with Faith from My Heart. This is my first time doing this and not exactly the way I expected this to happen. I expected to be leaning more toward Bible verses, some Bible study, you know, something along that line. But I have something really weighing on my heart today that has just really hit me hard. And I feel like this is a message that God is telling me I need to get out there and I need to get this off of my heart. We are in so much turmoil as a country right now and as a world. And we have just had, you know, riots and everything take over our capital. But I really believe deep in my heart that Trump was meant to win this election. He's catching so much blame for everything that happened, but no one could have ever predicted what would happen at the Capitol. No one could have predicted that people would get out of hand, that they would break in, vandalize, steal, anything, that people would die in there because of this. Trump didn't tell people to go in and break into the Capitol. He didn't tell people to do any of this. All Trump has done is ask for our support. He wants our support. That's all he's ever asked for. He wants us to stand up for what we believe in, what we know is right. What God has told all of us is right. That's all he's asked us to do. Trump may not be a very, very religious man, but he has supported Christianity. He has not allowed evil to completely take over. And now we're looking at the fact that we have elected a man that is going to make so many changes, and he's trying to hide it behind a smokescreen. You know, we have been misled We've been lied to. You know, so many things that they're trying to use to hide their real agendas. They're trying to buy us. A $2,000 stimulus. Yes, American families need financial help. They need it desperately. But they're using that as a smokescreen. They're convincing the media, these politicians and media are using this and making it so big that's all they're talking about keeping a smoke screen of all this money that they want to give us let's increase minimum wage let's do this let's do that all the while behind the scenes they're trying to pass all kinds of legislations laws that are against god they're against anything and everything moral in this world and we're allowing it to happen we have literally allowed this to happen no one standing up for what God tells us is right there is so much evil about to move in and all this is going to do is oppress us as Christians they're working to pass laws that support the LGBTQ community. It's okay for people to decide what gender they want to be. God told us what gender we are. You're a man or you're a woman and that's it. If you don't know which one you are, you just need to pray. Because all it is is Satan coming in and taking over us trying to control us, mislead us, make us believe that it's okay to change whether you're a man or a woman, change how you feel. No, this is pure demonic, is all this is. It is demons that are ruling our world, and we are allowing it. We are now, we have elected a man, supposedly, I don't believe that this man was ever elected. This is pure evil taking over that has brought this man into office that they are going to try to swear in that's going to make murder legal. 
The Biden administration supports murdering unborn babies up until the moment they are born. Up till the very instant that they take their first breath. And that's not murder. Anyone that chooses this, that is pure evil. This is Satan controlling people. And now they're going to make it legal by man's law. How long is it before this evil takes over? How long before we allow this smoke screen to hide everything they're doing where they legally have the right to kill God's children even after they're born? That's where we're going with this. Step by step, an inch at a time, we are allowing them to let evil take us all over. Our, our world, not just our nation, not just us individually, but our entire world needs prayer. People need to wake up. We have got to wake up and get our heads out of our butts and realize what we are allowing to happen. How long before they begin to kill any of us who oppose what they're doing, their evil ways, the evil that is taking over our world? This is it. We have to oppose Satan. Satan is the only one doing this. And we are allowing this. Our people, individually, groups, our country, our nation, our entire world. They just tell us all these things. Oh, we will do this for you. We will do that for you. We're going to get you $2,000. <laughs> Thank God that we might be able to get money to support our families. But don't allow them to use that to mask what they are really doing. Don't let them use that as a blindfold for you so you don't see the bigger picture. The things that they are passing, the laws that are against God, against our Bible. We have one book that tells us what is right and what is wrong. And that is not something that they can hit a gavel on a table and change those rules. God's laid those rules out for us to follow. They're not up for debate. They're not up for vote. There's no deciding which ones we follow, which ones we don't. God is it, people. Wake up. How long before Christians, all of us as Christians, are hunted down and killed for our beliefs, for trusting in our Lord and Savior, for trying to stand up for what's right in this world? How long? Trump was our salvation. What's what we need? We need four more years of that grace. But we are allowing the government to break even our own constitution. They're going against our own constitution that this country was even formed on. We were formed as one nation under God. Not under a senator, under a president, under any fool that thinks they know what to do. This is not one nation under Satan. We were formed as one nation under God. And we are allowing them to take that away. We've kicked God out of our homes. We've kicked him out of our schools. We've kicked him out of our lives in general. People better wake up and realize we need him. We need God more now than we have ever, ever needed him. Trump is our only chance at this four more years of grace. Four more years of keeping this evil at bay. Our nation, our world is under attack by Satan himself. Only we can stop him. It's time for everyone to stand up for God. Stand up for what you know is right. 
Be thankful for everything we can get from our government. Just don't be blind to what they're trying to do. Don't be blind to the things they're trying to hide with stimulus checks, with bonuses on unemployment, giving us this, giving us that, getting us raises, getting us a higher un, you know, minimum wage. All I ask is that you please take off the blindfold and look at what is really happening in this world. That's all I ask. I appreciate everybody's time. And I just pray that everyone that hears this will share this message with someone they love. We have to stand together. We have to stand with God, not against Him. We have to stand together as brothers and sisters in Christ, as Christians, as a church. Church is a group of Christians, not a building. Stand together as the church of God. We are the church. We must let our voices be heard, our prayers be heard. Ask, pray, beg to be forgiven for all the things that we have done, all the things that are happening in this world, for God's grace to just rain down on us. It's our only chance. We cannot allow these evil things to take over. Everybody says, you know, this politician, that politician, we're voting for this, we're voting for that. If we allow people to come in that stand for all of these things, then we're not voting for people anymore. We're voting for Satan. And that is not where any of us want to be. I just pray that all of us can come together and to get through all of this because everything and anything is possible through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. And he is the only way we make it out of this. I just, I appreciate all of your time. I hope everyone is blessed and safe and that we all make it out of this alive, that we all make it to eternity with God. That's all I want. I want all of us to have eternity, eternal salvation with our Lord and Savior. So please join me in praying for our country, praying for our world. Stand up for what you know is right against what we know is wrong. We stand up for God. Thank you and may God bless us all.